Hey guys, welcome back to Wentworth Life, the YouTube channel that talks all things Wentworth. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for any future updates if this is your first time here. All my social media links are underneath this video, and as usual, if you stick around until the end of the video, I will be responding to some of your comments from my previous videos. Okay guys, well I hope you're all good and you're all enjoying your weekend so far. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some new photos that have dropped online in the last 24 to 48 hours. Also, we are going to be talking about a Foxtel article and of course, I have been sent a few messages and questions about some of the most recent internet movie database updates that I am going to address for you today. Now, I don't know whether if you guys saw this yesterday, but Robbie, who plays Mr. Jackson, put up this post on his Instagram. Now, someone has hacked into his official Facebook account and he has asked all the fans to report the page and to unfollow it. So if you have a spare two minutes today guys then please do this for Robbie. Also I left a comment on this post yesterday and Robbie liked it. <laughs> oh my god I was bouncing yesterday when this happened to me. So basically I left a comment saying I was wondering when I saw you go live on Facebook but it wasn't you. Some people are dickheads Robbie. I hope you get it sorted. I'll report it now too and he ended up liking it guys so Robbie you have made me a very happy fan now speaking of trolls before we get started with the new went with photos I just wanted to give you all an update about the video that I posted two days ago if you didn't see the video well basically it was just me debunking a load of fake spoilers that someone had tried to pass off as official and I was getting a lot of messages just from upset fans who thought that the spoilers were real and it basically they all thought that it ruined the whole season for them. Now I actually have a little bit of an update on this. So some internet troll using a fake Facebook account had decided to write a load of abuse about me over in a went to a Facebook group. Not only that but this troll also decided to use a photo of me without using my permission hoping that I wouldn't see. But of course I have such amazing friends in the social media world that they sent me over screenshots of this abusive post just to give me the heads up. Now first of all I just wanted to thank Gail and Michelle for being the first ones to bring this to my attention. You were both amazing. But also thank you to everyone else who also gave me the heads up on this. There was about 10 of you in total and you all know who you are. Now even though this post was so abusive and vile towards me and this YouTube channel it didn't bother me guys, it really really didn't. However, I do have friends and family who also love Wentworth that did see this post and it really upset them and that is what has angered me the most about this. I can take any abuse that anyone throws at me but not when it upsets family and friends. Now the admins in this Wentworth group did delete the post and they have also deleted and removed this member, the member who was using the fake profile and I just have to thank them for doing so. However, this post was on the Facebook group long enough for 10 people to screenshot it and send it over to me, which means it was on there long enough for my family and friends to see. So just for this very reason, I have decided to make that video that I made two days ago completely private and unlisted on YouTube. However, that doesn't mean that you can't still watch this video if you haven't already seen it. If you haven't had the chance to watch it yet, drop me a message on Facebook and I will send you a unique link to go and watch it privately. But please make sure that if you do message me on Facebook that you are a real person and that you do have a real Facebook profile just so that I, I know you are a real person and you're not this troll, okay guys? But thank you all to everyone for all your kind messages and full support of this channel. Your love of this channel is absolutely amazing, it's outstanding. And I just want to thank every single one of you. Anyway, guys, that's enough of that. I'm not here to talk about some stupid troll. Let's not give this troll any more thinking time. And let's all just block him from our memories. Never mention him again. I'm here to chat to you all about Wentworth gossip and to keep you entertained. So let's liven this mood up. 
so let's start off with these new photos that have surfaced online. Let's start with this one. It's a photo of Ali in some sort of oxygen mask. I'm thinking maybe this is going to be part of some of the early scenes in the first episode. Could this be the moment where Ali is told by the doctors that she is paralysed? This photo actually makes me quite sad. I mean, look at Ali's face. She literally looks like she cannot take any more. If you look closely as well, you can see the cut on her head after Luke Kelly smashed her head into the sink last year. These are going to be absolutely heartbreaking scenes. And of course, Kate Jenkinson has said that her most favourite scene ever to film happens during this final season. So we can expect some really big things from Addy this year. Also, I watched Michelle's video yesterday and Michelle came up with this awesome idea that maybe this is a scene where B comes to Addy as a ghost to give Addy the push that she needs. And I tell you what guys, I really hope Michelle is right because I'm really hoping for a ghost B appearance. I mean, Ferguson gets all the ghost vision, so I think it's time the writers shared this around. <laughs> Not only that, but but how amazing would it be if Kaz came back as a vision to someone? Maybe Kaz could come back in a vision to Mr. Jackson. I mean, he was having those Ferguson visions back in season six. So I think this year, Will's life is going to start maybe collapsing around him. And it would be really cool to see Kaz come to Will in a vision or a dream. And oh my God, imagine if they kiss in this vision, just as Kaz says goodbye to Will and goes back to the spirit world. Oh my God writers please 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 give us some of these scenes <laughs> anyway moving on to this next photo and we have Ferguson looking out of a window which I think is in Dr. Miller's office now this photo isn't given very much away all I can tell about this photo is that maybe Joan is having another session with Dr. Miller and maybe Joan is struggling to keep up the pretense of Kath Maxwell in front of him and she will maybe start to crack but I think Joan will have a plan B I mean she always always has a plan B when something gets in the way of her plans and this is where I think she might try and manipulate Dr. Miller in some shape or form. In this next photo we have Lou Kelly on the steam press so I'm not sure whether if this is going to be Lou's top dog I mean it could be or maybe she's just working in the laundry with her own crew while the others are maybe working on the telephones I mean that's if the telephone storyline is still going when the new season returns. When I first saw this photo it made me think Think that this could be the scene where Lou is in the laundry and Ruby pulls out a shiv getting ready to fight. We saw this clip in that little behind the bars documentary ages ago and I think this photo could be taking place in the same scene. Now in these next three photos I think these could all be taking place in one scene. So we have someone holding a knife in the shower block who I think is Judy. Then we have Boomer and Ruby running into the shower block looking very angry and then we have Judy looking shocked looking like she's just been rumbled so i think this could be the moment when boomer and ruby find out that it was judy who attacked ali and i think with this photo of judy holding the blade it could be a scene where maybe judy is about to attack ali again but will get saved by boomer and ruby just in time now i don't know how boomer and ruby are going to figure this all out i have a feeling that maybe when ali comes back from the hospital ali will be pissed off because judy didn't return turn the money to Lou and Reb like she said she would and from there I think maybe things will start to unravel for Judy Bryant but if this is the moment where Judy is discovered then I have no idea what's going to happen next literally anything is possible at this point but these photos are amazing I have no idea where they came from but thank you to whoever leaked them <laughs> you gave us all a really nice tease without giving anything too major away okay so now I want to quickly move on to this Foxtel article that was in the Foxtel magazine recently, so let's have a little read through together. So the article starts off saying it's world class drama and they ain't lying guys are they? Okay so other members of the Wentworth cast reveal why you're going to love these final episodes, okay. While fans have been on tender hooks awaiting this month's return of Wentworth, it's really a double edged sword, as it also means there are only 10 episodes left until Australia's favourite prison drama comes to an end. But it's not all bad news, as the episode are some of the show's best ever and it's not just us who think so. From what I've seen, it's pretty good, says Jane Hall, who plays Anne Reynolds. 
It's so amazing, it really is breathtaking television. It looks so slick and so amazing. It's world class drama and it's a massive career highlight for me to have been a part of it. I couldn't be prouder. Kate Atkinson, whose character Vera Benner has been in the thick of the action since day one, found it hard to believe that the drama and tension could be upped any further. You don't really draw breath much in this last season, she teases. There are so many stories going on. It's always been about the jungle inside the prison and the pressures that happen in that environment. Environment, but it feels to me like it was amped up even more in this last season because we literally couldn't leave the prison So it got even more Lord of the Flies ish where you just never know who can be trusted and who's going to change their Allegiance from one person to the next all of those things that we've known went with for it's just that tenfold with her character Ali Novak left for dead in the last season's shocking final, Kate Jenkinson admitted she's amazed at the job the writers do. I don't envy the writers, she tells us. How do you end a show that has become so iconic? It's really difficult. People are so invested, which is a great thing. Bernard Curry, the actor behind Officer Jake Stewart, adds, Of this final run, we've taken the audience on this crazy ride. This season is about tying it all up. So as we've already guessed, guys, these final 10 episodes are some of the show's best ever. Everything is amped up and each episode is going to be one hell of a crazy ride. Right then, so before we go on to comment replies, we just need to talk about some crazy internet movie database updates. So I've had a load of messages recently telling me that all the episode titles for this year's season is up, which is fantastic. I've had a little look and I can see that they've kept most of the original titles that they had originally thought up, which is great news as some of these titles are pretty amazing. But the biggest surprise that I got is the fact that apparently Brendan Murphy is credited in being in every episode this year. Now of course Brendan Murphy is dead. She was shot and killed by Channing at the end of season 6. So what I think is happening here is that Internet Movie Database have been fed through some more information telling them the character Brendan Murphy is going to make an appearance but they just don't know what episode she's going to be in. So what they've done is they've just credited her for all episodes for the moment and they will change this after each episode has aired. More than likely, Brenda Murphy is going to be appearing in flashbacks during one, maybe even two separate episodes, which is actually fantastic news, because we all still have answers to what Ferguson and Murphy got up to while Ferguson was on the outside, after Murphy had saved Ferguson from being buried alive. Now I can't wait to see these flashbacks of what they both got up to. We had a load of flashbacks last year, but they stopped after Brenda got Ferguson out of the grave. So we need to see what happened next and more than likely this will involve that graveside photo as it was Murphy who took the photo originally. So yes, Brenda is probably definitely going to be back in flashbacks but I highly doubt it will be in every episode. It'll probably be one, two, maybe even at a push three episodes but we'll just have to wait and see but it's fantastic news to know that she's going to be making an appearance. Anyway guys, I hope that does answer some of your questions about the Brenda Murphy thing and thank you all for coming to me and asking for my opinion on this. Anyway guys, before I go and wrap this video up, it's now time for some comment replies. So we have Kieran Kisser. Rita is fighting a crowd of people. I'm guessing everyone found out she's an undercover cop. Yes, Kieran, I was actually thinking the same thing. Um, I'm kind of torn between the fact that maybe they find out she's a cop or whether if it's just Lou trying to show Rita who's in, you know, who's, who's more tougher really, I suppose. Because I reckon Lou's probably heard how much of a good fighter Rita is. So this could be Lou like showing Rita who's boss, but uh, I think it could backfire I, I definitely think Rita is gonna get the upper hand on this occasion and uh, but you could be right This could be the moment when all the women find out that Rita is an undercover cop. Thank you for your comment Kieran And we have Heather Scaffer Love seeing you Craig. I've always wondered what you look like. I'm not disappointed I love that you give Michelle shout out her videos are great too I'm glad these spoilers weren't confirmed my curiosity wants to know but I'd rather wait and be surprised. Thank you, Heather, for that lovely comment. Yes, I'm exactly the same as you. Like, I'm really, like, interested to see what's going to happen. I love these little spoiler teasers that they show us in trailers and little small things in articles. However, I don't want the whole season ruined for me. So I can totally see where you're coming from. And of course, I will always give Michelle shout outs. I think she runs an amazing Wentworth channel. She's so unique. And I love the fact that we now have a second person 
person doing this and we've got a second pair of eyes and a second load of ideas so it's absolutely amazing also i just have to say in michelle's video where she's apologizing for those fake spoilers how hilarious was it when michelle said that she had dressed up for her lynching this is what i love about michelle she's so creative and her ideas are outstanding and it's absolutely amazing if you haven't seen her video or her channel please go and take a look right now and heather thank you for your lovely comments and we have body storm i feel like the fight scenes are paying homage to previous fights ferguson in the yard season 5 is now rita in the yard b in season 2 now boomer thrown Lou. i'm for rita all the way in this season yes body storm really good observation there yeah it looks like they are paying similar homages to previous fight scenes and i'm with you as well i'm rooting for rita i really want rita to get to the top but it's gonna be a bumpy ride isn't it but anyway body storm thank you for your comment and we have gavin till i think will was having the dream as joan is back and he's worried she's going to try something you could be right gavin that's a fantastic observation i never thought of it as maybe it's will having the nightmare and not ferguson that's a really good observation there and that could actually be very plausible you've really got me thinking now gavin <laughs> we're all thinking that it's a dream sequence that ferguson is having but what if it's the other way around and it's will having the nightmare i mean he's prone to having nightmares if you remember in season six fantastic observation thank you for that gavin and we have dale o'brien the clip with the lace and spoon is definitely the freak and she stood outside a cell door about to enter and she lives next door to reb and then the clip when miles and jake are stood outside the cell where someone is dead you see joan at her own cell door watching over the ever so observant one that she is yes dale really good observation there as well i'm thinking that it might actually be ferguson at that cell door i'm also i've also got a bit of a feeling that um the writers are kind of gonna mess with our heads when it comes to reb's death scene i've got a feeling that we're not gonna know who killed reb and they're gonna keep us guessing and even though it's said in previous spoilers that lou finds out who killed reb in episode two lou could be wrong there could be a twist and innocent people could die because of this so i've got a feeling they're gonna set things up in episode one and we're not gonna know who killed reb and they're gonna create a little bit more of a whodunit a little bit like they did in season one and i tell you what guys i bloody hate whodunits i want to see who kills who <laughs> but anyway dale thank you for your comment and guys thank you all once again for your amazing comments and all the support that you give me keep those comments coming and i was actually just thinking as well just before the new season starts i was thinking of answering a bumper load of comment replies and piling them all into a big went with catch up video with my other half peter and what our predictions are for this final season so send through those comments and i will try my best to collect them all and use them in that video in a couple of weeks okay guys well thank you all for sticking around until the end of the video make sure you smash that subscribe button stay safe and i'll see you all again very soon